In case you missed it over the weekend, a story in the paper on Saturday says not one, not two, but three DAs from Wisconsin, Ishmael Ozan, John Chisholm of Milwaukee County, and Larry Nelson of Iowa County are going to seek to intervene in the appeal, the John Doe case ruling this past summer by the Wisconsin Supreme Court, disbanding the John Doe, firing Special Prosecutor Francis Smith, and giving him 30 days to copy the evidence, send it back to the court, or give it to the injured parties. But now, the three DAs can ask the court for permission to file this appeal. By the way, it would be kind of weird if the Supreme Court said you could intervene at the local level and five DAs, two Republicans said no, and then say later they changed their mind and would say you can't do the appeal. If that happens, watch Shirley Abrahamson really go ballistic. Uh, in this case, who's to say what would happen if they go to the U.S. Supreme Court? The Wisconsin statute said there can't be a collaboration on issue advocacy ads between outside groups and campaigns. Uh, federal courts and the state Supreme Court have since said, yes, you can, it's constitutional, the old law was unconstitutional. But Wisconsin's an outlier in that regard. Only Florida matches the statute that we have, and six states have no regulation on that at all. It's quite possible that the intervening DAs could take this to the U.S. Supreme Court and get a favorable ruling, even from Judge Scalia, who knows? In Citizens United, sure, it gave unlimited money to outside groups, but it said there can't be collaboration between those outside groups where there are no limits and campaigns. That's right, it may not be inconsistent at all with Justice Scalia or others on the court to agree with the old statute in Wisconsin. By the way, people called my show and said, John Chisholm is guilty of hypocrisy because he had two cases where he exceeded spending limits in his last campaign. Well, if he, if he gives the money back, he's not going to be convicted of a crime. And are we going to say that if a judge gets an OWI, the judge can no longer rule on law? I don't think so. This is about the law, not about having Scott Walker wear handcuffs. It's about reinstating an old law that courts have since said is unconstitutional. Those who would bring the appeal don't agree. We'll see what happens. My two cents, my two minutes are brought to you by Capital Consultants at Edge Construction. Mike Tuig and his staff can redo your home, your kitchen, your bathroom, your basement, make your home feel just like home. We can talk about this and more on the radio tomorrow morning at 8 o'clock on 92.1 FM, The Mike, The Mitch Hank Show. Talk to you then.